Well, I made it out to the lake beside my school, finally. Had a little itch after classes this week to just put a line in. So here's my chance on this absolutely overfished spot. If you can see, a bunch of tracks along here. There's even a few sticks in the water, so I guess I just gotta hope for the best. I got this new, like, clam set up. It's a little uh, chair with a little foam at the top. Whew. So hopefully I'll be really comfy. Well, I was planning to make more than one hole, but by chance, somebody had a huge one that it looks like they chopped up with an ax, man. It's ridiculous. They kind of marked it. Looks more like they're using a, uh, they're using the stick as a fishing rod, so mark your hole is better, please. This right here, not proper marking. Almost looks as you were using a fishing rod. So somebody could have thought you just had a hole, came walking here and plopped their foot right on this. Not that much ice, man. That's dangerous. People, man. And they're littering. What is that? Come on now. Be nice to the environment. Mother Nature never did nothing wrong to you. Jesus. Holy moly, is it ever bright out here. Well, I got my trusty seat here. It's actually really comfy. I think it was sitting a little close to the hole though. So we're gonna focus on using a rattle wrap because I actually forgot my tackle box in my room. So, a little rattle wrap here. Holy fuck, I almost fell in the hole. That's yeah, too close. It's caught me a few wallies, but nothing too spectacular. Let that sink down. We've got some beautiful salted minnows. Salted myself. Really, they freeze all right, eh? It's not too bad. Well, they don't freeze, they just get cold. And they look like this. I know you'll be able to, it'll focus in on it. Yeah, whatever. You know what a salted minnow looks like. So, I have no worries with that. Which should do the trick for a little bit of more finesse presentation. Let's get ourselves a fish. Oh! Oh, oh. Well, I was hoping it wouldn't be so slushy today, but... Holy moly! What the... Okay, well, that just happened. What is this, man? Tell me sit down comfortably. There we go. But now it's all about finding that prime time, you know? I'm in the middle of the town, the city of Sudbury here. So, I guess we'll just have to wait and see, eh? I think my camera's filling up with footage. This is not good. Oh well, I think I'll be fine. I'll just keep an eye on it. I'm using a uh, Shimano Convergence. I just picked this up today there, alongside with this nice clam bucket. Not sponsored, definitely not sponsored. Um, just like their stuff. I just asked for a pail and they came out with this, so I guess we'll be using that. Well, I guess I should leave that there. I'll mark it better when I leave. Grab a few uh, pine, pine, pine needles. Yeah, and uh, go from there. Well, it's actually not bad out. It's a one degree day. There's a thin layer of ice on top of the ice and under that it's about two inches of water. So it's not the best conditions out here, but the ice is beautiful, beautiful black ice. When you saw in that hole, it's actually not as big a hole as you think. It's just that top layer is kind of busted right up. So. Okay. Probably be better on the entrance of the bay, not in the bay, just on the outskirts. Whatever. Fucking suck a pee pee, bro. I guess we could do some hole hopping. Polluted the lake with heavy metals, so now we're here. So I grabbed all my gear. Beautiful. It's actually really bright and nice. I like the color. It's beautiful. Got my rod in the hole, but it's a wrap, so 
I'm not too sure uh, much will bite on the uh, on the wrap. Salted minnow time. This guy looking at you right in the camera, man. Alrighty. Let's try this out here. It's super deep here, so maybe they'll beat it down in the depths. I don't know. Oh. Sorry, I know you can't see my face, but I made sure to put it out of the camera a little further. It's easier to talk to you if you can see me. So maybe they're closer to the bottom here. Deeper, sorry. So I'm just gonna put a dead stick here. Jeez, how much water is here? Let me empty this hole. I know, use a spoon, use a spoon. My hands will be cold, big deal. There we go, now we'll just uh, make a little rod stand. Try not to freeze my reel in it, but make a little rod stand of some sort here. Damn, that's not warm at all, guys. Don't do what I'm doing. I think a little more line would be needed. Maybe not that much, actually. See, that's the problem with having a split shot. Don't actually know how far on bottom your stuff is. But let's go digging. Jigging with a rip and wrap. Whoa, maybe it'll work. Maybe not. I know you guys are tired of me talking. I know. I'm also tired of myself talking. I just want to catch some fish. So how about we get to that, huh, Jer? How about that one? As, as deep as it is here, I hear my rattle bait like, What the fuck was that? Was that just a freaking monster? What the hell was that? There's no sticks here. What was that? Maybe a weed? If that's a weed, then we've hit a juice spot. Let me check. What do I have on here? I lost my minnow head. Freaking 40 inch pickerel man on the end of my line. <laughs> That's a dream fish, let's be real. Those freaking eyes on this thing got the beat down, man. Salting the middle just murders their eyes. <laughs> I don't know what that was, but it was quite exciting. If it's a piece of structure, that makes me happy. But I don't want to lose this wrap because it's the only one I got. You know what? I'm going over there, and you guys are following me. I don't think you have much of a choice. They're a little bit eaten away at, but nah, yeah, it's because I'm stupid. going for 10 years then. Well, I decided to jig a little shallower than I usually do because why not? Also, I have to put another minnow on here. So I keep losing them. 
Well, it's not my fault that freaking seaweed monster came to eat it. Freaking Kosulu. And Lake Ramsey. Oh, exposed the lake. Don't get mad. Oopsie daisy. I'm looking for like a 15, you know what I mean? 15 feet. Okay, she's going. Okay. I'll show you guys something. Look what I found. In my coat pocket. Know what I'm gonna do, huh? What the hell? Listen to this. What the hell is that? No! Small update for you guys. Still no fish. I'm really suffering, man. I'm suffering. It's been, bah, it's been like 20 minutes since I last spoke to you folks. I just moved about 10 feet away. Maybe it's a big drop off, I don't know. It's getting dark out, it's getting prime time. It's about four o'clock, 4.30 now. So I'll give it till 5.30 and then I'll pack her up and head home, but this is about when the when the fish usually start biting, so we'll see what we get. Fishing probably 15 to 20 feet of water here. <sighs> so, yeah, I'm blanking out. I just need a fish, to be fair with you. And food, I could use some food, man. Ooh, that sounds good. Well, there we go. Well, it's about five o'clock now, and I've got the cabin behind me still. I just kind of switched spots, went around the side of it, and I saw some blood on the ground, so I thought it'd be a good idea to, to come reach over here. Uh, hasn't produced quite yet. I've only been here for about 20 minutes. It's getting dark. I think I already said that. I'm going insane, to be honest, but soon. I'm hoping, I'm hoping so. Just one, please. Just one. It would make my dinner. Although I shouldn't eat fish out of this lake. Like I said, the heavy metal contents are pretty high, but I don't think one time will kill me. I just want some walleye in my mouth, man. Right now I'm jigging a wrap in uh, about 10, 12 feet of water. And then I've got a dead stick in about 15, 16 feet of water, so... Just hope it produces either one you got an aggressive presentation you got a dead stick so if I had a finesse jig I'd put it on because maybe they'll be more enticed to hit that that's all I'm really missing but oh, just beautiful day out so pray to God pray to God I catch something after all this effort I've gone through so guess I'll see you guys if I catch one and for the outro, if I don't, so. <laughs> See you in a bit. Yeah, it's getting a little too dark for my liking. Um, without a headlamp, so. I'm gonna have to put her away. No fish. Sorry, I didn't record much between there, but I was focused on honing in on them fish. Just had my camera beside me and just wishing for the best, but. That's a no go for us today. Man, I keep uploading videos with no fish. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't fish in the middle of a town with 150,000 people, eh? Be hard to hone in on the fish, even though it's a huge lake as well, but it's been fished forever, man. But won't let that stop me for next time, so. I'll keep my toque on, keep my coat on, and uh, next time you see me, I'll probably be wearing the same thing. So, <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the walking around, making holes, because that's pretty much all this video consisted of. And judging people. But. Nonetheless, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll catch you guys on uh, on the next video, wait. Eh? How about that one? Peace out.